Hello everybody, my name's Longer James. You can call me either one, and today I'm gonna be your human wiki on how to cook food in Life After. So, before we actually go to any of the ingredients, uh, you should look at the little information tab in the top right. This will give you the basics on how to cook. You add four ingredients uh, in the little uh, slots right here. And then the stats of the food are based on the individual ingredients that you put in. So uh, if you put meat, uh, vegetables, or fruit, or mushrooms, or any of the other type of ingredients, each one has their own individual stats that they will provide. Uh, of course, the higher quality of food will have much better stats and also um, maybe even have some special effects added into the food as well. Taste is dependent on the quality of food you put in and also your mastery. Uh, the higher your taste of your dishes, uh, the better the attributes will be and also in may have some special bonuses reached afterwards. And for each dish or recipe, they have their own specific special bonuses. Uh, each dish you can cook uh, will increase the mastery of the corresponding dish. The mastery level will affect the properties of the dish and how long it takes to cook. Um, some of the dishes can be cooked uh, on a bonfire or uh, the little tiny stoves outside of your uh, private camps after you've completely mastered the dish. There are a few dishes that you can uh, cook outside uh, even without mastering them. I'm going to go over those later. Uh, make sure you claim food on your own stoves um, because they will expire after five minutes. All right, so on to some uh, little tricks you can do with your food before we go into the actual ingredients themselves. So there are three types of rarities for ingredients, the common, rare, and valuable. That is the white, green, and blue respectively. When your recipes start out as completely unmastered, uh, or, or at the comprehend level, and you can tap on the little charts to see uh, the different uh, stat bonuses you will get from them for uh, increasing your rank or stage of your mastery. So if you are at the comprehend level and you combine two common ingredients and two rare ingredients, you will still come out with a common food. If you use three common food and one valuable food, you will get a common food. Uh, what that's useful for is if you want to bring home, uh, technically bring home, uh, valuable or rare ingredients, you can cook them into your food and then bring and then ship home common food for free without using those, uh, those valuable quotas or paid quotas. You can pretty much go up uh, two rarity points. Uh, imagine a rare value, uh, rare ingredient is worth one. So you can put up two rare ones, or one valuable is worth two rare ones. Um, and then the same applies if you have one common and three rare, you'll end up getting a rare food. Uh, two common and two valuable will still equal a rare food, but if you go into one rare and three valuable food, you'll get a valuable food. Um, but uh, if you start uh, going up these stages, um, this doesn't hold true because your uh, the stats of the food will go up and therefore you will be able to use less and less of the higher quality food to continuously keep it at a common rarity, which might sound bad, but because uh, the stats are still boosted anyways uh, from your mastery, uh, it is going to be about equal from uh, where you were previously putting common foods and rare or valuable foods, mixing them in. Uh, and keeping them common. Alright, on to simple dishes. So simple dishes are a type of dish that you can cook um, from basically the very start. Um, uh, you can cook them outside even away from your private camp without mastering them. Um, there are a few that you can unlock but to start with you have your barbecued meats, your jam, your steamed vegetables, and your grilled mushrooms. But, like I said before, there are recipes you can unlock that are still simple dishes that you can cook outside without mastering them. Uh, some of them aren't really that useful though, like toast. You can 
that is a simple recipe. However, you can't cook it outside unless you actually bring the ingredients with you. Um, but you can't farm the ingredients. You can't get flour out in Fall Forest or any other location that I know of. Um, you can't get those. Um, honey, you can get honey uh, in a lot of places. You can get it in Fall Forest, um, uh, Farstar City. Uh, I think Sandcastle, you cannot get them. You can get them in the Snow Highlands area. Uh, so you can make honey, but uh, I believe honey is better used on other recipes. The other simple food you can make is hot water. That's good for if you're in the Snow Highlands or any other cold area. You can also make honey hot water, which is about equivalent to uh, hot water, but it will give you some uh, added bonus stat effects because honey is uh, pretty good at healing HP and also can cure hunger more than just ice cubes. All right. That is all for the simple dishes for both the ones that you can uh, cook normally and the ones you can unlock. Uh, so now moving on to the rest of the foods. So milk is basically like hot water. It's mostly used for uh, heating up your body, but it's also pretty good for uh, regenerating your health, um, not your HP. Please don't get those two confused. Uh, health is more like uh, sickness rather than um, injury. Meat is pretty important. Uh, you want to master that one because uh, it is used in, in at least one of the quests in Snow Highlands that you have to cook it out there. Um, so that is the reason you need to master it uh, because it is not considered one of the uh, simple dishes. Not to mention it's a decent recipe and it is fairly easy to master. Uh, meat and berries is uh, pretty common to be found in Fall Force, so you should be able to, uh, you should have no problem uh, mastering this recipe. Uh, the fruits and vegetable salad is uh, equal parts uh, fruit and vegetables. Uh, actually, you can uh, stretch out your vegetables by adding more berries. This applies to almost all other recipes. Um, there are a lot of exceptions to this rule. I'm not going to try to go into all of them. Uh, as you can see, like trying to make uh, grilled mushrooms, even though it says uh, you need... Even though it says you need mushrooms, you can still put in two berries. But uh, if you put a third berry, it will turn into jam instead. Alright, enough with the uh, general and not so general rule of uh, food and mixing uh, different ingredients together and kind of bypassing actual recipes. Um, I'm just going to show you guys uh, all of the uh, recipes down the list. You can go ahead and pause any time you would like to look at the um, required ingredients. Also take note of the text in the uh, different color, uh, the orangey color. It will tell you what um, the food has for special effects as well as how greatly it increases um, those kind of stats. Um, they are a general rule and by that I mean um, th it is dependent upon the quality of ingredients you use. So if you use, uh, if you're trying to make a milky croissant and you use three crude flours and one milk which is three common ingredients and one valuable ingredient you're gonna come out with a lot lower um, logging crit chance uh, bonus than if you use three milks and one fine flour which is one rare ingredient and three valuable ingredients. Uh, that rule applies to pretty much all of the um, foods that uh, give you special bonuses. Um, the other thing it also affects are the other um, basic stats which I explained earlier in the video. So moving along with uh, the recipes. Uh, the sandwich is one of the uh, greatest um, PVE type uh, recipes so I mastered that one. It's pretty good. I suggest you guys do the same. 
Uh, fruit pie is also pretty good for if you're going to go to uh, Sandcastle or any other place that has uh, the humanoid uh, creatures. And the egg tart's pretty good uh, in general uh, for all around just doing damage to stuff. Uh, it could also be great for uh, Miska University uh, for killing those uh, bookcases. So there are four recipes that you need uh, recipe books from that you have to you can only buy from uh, a NPC once you join a uh, private camp near the bank. Uh, those are the special pizza, the spaghetti, the fruit cake, and the strawberry jelly. There's also one recipe that you get from. Uh, doing some quests, which is the toffee. Uh, you have to go to the quest boards and go accept that. There are some foods that have multiple effects too, like the, for the strawberry jelly. The strawberry jelly increases both speed and uh, crit chance. Also, you will note that some uh, recipes will tell you specifically how many of each ingredient you need, and some will also ask you for specific ingredients, such as pumpkins instead of vegetables. Fish dishes can be made pretty much with uh, one fish and three of uh, other foods, so like meat or vegetables, uh, berry, uh, fruits, and uh, mushrooms, as stated before. Um, sometimes unknown foods, they can develop, um, just disgusting foods, so try, uh, you can try it a few times, but, uh, you might just not get anything good. Uh, there's an achievement for making disgusting food, though, so don't be too worried about trial and error. <laughs> Uh, some of the fish are salt fish, so you'll have to go to Charlestown to get them, uh, such as the silver carp and the ribbon fish, the grouper, salmon, uh, parrotfish, race. As well as the famous lobster. Uh, there's also a koi fish that you can get, but it is not a the koi fish is not a saltwater fish, it is a freshwater fish. Alright, that's pretty much all the recipes I have. There are still some recipes that I haven't ha uh, gotten the chance to make yet, such as the koi fish, simply because of how rare the ingredients are. But don't worry, I'll make a video on that once I get the super rare ingredients. And some some of these ingredients you can't get in, except for in very, very specific locations, such as blueberries, um, which are found in the swamp area. Regarding food with special uh, traits, uh, or, or that grant special buffs. Uh, you can only be affected by one food buff at a time. So make sure you choose the one that you want to use and be using for uh, the, uh, long, the full duration as long as possible. Um, so I'm going to rate just the top uh, foods that so far that I know of um, for their best category of buffs or uh, general staff regeneration. Uh, so the best HP healing uh, foods are the grilled pufferfish and the grilled perch and the honey grilled meat and meat platter. It's really easy to get valuable fish, uh, particularly the pufferfish and perch, from 
your camp pond because of the guarantees that you get even at lower levels of fishing rod. Once you hit the max amount of rare fish you, that you catch, you can get the valuable fish instead of the rare fish once that 15 limit is reached. You can donate those purchases to your camp lunches, uh, which will also give you some camp points as well. Because they give slightly less stats than the puffer fish and you can cook the puffer fish and eat those for yourself. Honey grilled meats and meat platters, although not as good at healing your HP very quickly, they do have a slow HP regeneration effect over a long period of time, which actually heals you more over the total period of time than just eating a grilled puffer fish. It's also pretty good for if you're farming and then you just get hit once or twice and then you just go on, keep walking, and then you'll go back to full health. Or if you uh, take damage uh, until you start bleeding and then you give yourself emergency care, it'll just continue healing you. Uh, whereas if you were eating food like a puffer fish and then that happens to you, uh, you'll have to eat more food to heal. All right, next category is for best uh, hunger healing in, within a single item. Toast has that down. Um, if you cook it with the best ingredients, all, all fine flour, it can uh, regenerate a hundred hunger, but that's kind of overkill because you start actually losing health once you get below a certain point of hunger. Uh, so it's usually fine just cooking toast with uh, crude flour. Uh, for the best health regeneration, uh, mushroom soup with um, uh, cooked with the blue mushrooms that you can find in the Snow Highlands is really good at regenerating health once you get uh, sick from uh, infections from the zombies or uh, mysterious bosses that spit out toxic stuff at you. The best attack crit chance, pretty much only the spaghetti does this, so that is by default the champion recipe for that. Uh, if you're going to kill infected enemies, the sandwich is the best, uh, and it's not too hard to make either. Uh, also because of the uh, duration of the buff that the sandwich gives you. It's pretty good for um, invasions um, as well as mystery bosses. The food effects do not last if you are killed so it's not too good for the trap invasion where you're likely to die from the AoE the boss does so it's not really important to eat sandwiches for that. If you're looking to do PvP or killing Imperial soldiers the fruit pie is really good. If you're doing raiding and just trying to smash into buildings, the special pizza is good for you. But remember, you do have to buy the recipe for it. You can't just try to combine meat, vegetables, flowers, and mushrooms together. Uh, it won't actually work without the recipe. I tried doing that with the fruit cake and ended up making a egg tart instead. If you're going to be killing uh, wild animals, boars, sheep, yaks or anything like that to get meat, bones, horns, and all those good things. Uh, nutritious stew is really good for that. If you're going to try to be doing a lot of logging, maybe you planted a bunch of trees at your house and, and you're just going to farm all of those. The milky croissant and the honey croissant are really good for those. The milky croissant's probably the easiest to get uh, if you raise cows. For mining crit chance, you probably either want the egg tart or the grilled tilapia. The grilled tilapia does have some benefits over the egg tart in that it also gives you increased mining speed. Can't make up your mind about whether you want to do logging or you want to do some mining. Uh, the sorted platter is for you. It will increase both of those crit chances. If you're looking to do some hemp gathering, uh, grilled salmon is really good for that. Uh, make sure you remember that you go fishing for those in Charlestown since it is a saltwater fish. You can also get that from the hot mushroom using honey and mushrooms, uh, but the grilled salmon does give the added benefit of increasing your gathering speed. The strawberry jelly is really great for um, both movement speed and crit chance, it's better than the toffee because you don't have to use uh, so many milk or honeys. Um, strawberries are really, really easy to find going into um, 
sandcastle and most of the time uh, you're not sending home too many of the uh, valuable items from trees, rocks, and hemp so it's actually a really good option to send strawberries home. The lobster and the soft shell turtles those have some kind of unique unique special abilities so the soft shell turtle gives you increased gathering mastery when you're gathering hemp and the lobster increases your maximum amount of health there's also uh, this other dish that increases your maximum energy energy is your uh, kind of meter for running or attacking with your melee weapons. So after looking at all of this, there are some foods that I really recommend you have uh, maybe one or two of on you at all times besides your favorite food that you like to make with your ab abundance of ingredients that you're carrying around. Uh, so some of the foods that you might want to carry around uh, just a little bit of our toast. Uh, this is just in case you die. Uh, you can refill a lot of hunger at once because you start out with uh, 29 hunger whenever you die and uh, revive. Um, anytime you are fighting a mystery boss, usually you will get infected a little bit and your health will drop. Or if you're going into the swamp and you accidentally stay out uh, in the nighttime and start getting poisoned, um, some foods uh, that can cure your health is really good. Uh, so the uh, milky mushroom soup is pretty good for that because milk and mushrooms, uh, particularly the mushrooms that you get in um, Fall Forest or in Charlestown, uh, can uh, recover uh, your health once cooked. If you're going into the cold, you might want to bring some stewed fish soup, beet porridge, honey water, uh, dumplings, or creamy soup with you. The stewed soup, beet porridge, and honey water have the special effect of curing colds. Cold status in the game is uh, if you go out in the rain and you stay in the rain for too long, it'll make it so you can't sprint. Um, that'll be uh, just kind of good if you're, you know, in a hurry. Um, but probably the best effect from those is uh, not taking damage while you're out in the cold. If you're caught in a blizzard, the best thing to do is just uh, either be inside or build your own campfire. Which you should be able to make one uh, if you're at the level where you can go into Snow Highlands anyways. Alright guys, that's pretty much it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. If you guys like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, if you guys want to know when I make videos, usually I make them on a weekly basis, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. If there are recipes that I missed and uh, they're kind of tricky, like they involve uh, specific ingredients, uh, please let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll make a video about it next time. That's all from me, guys. You guys have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.